Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Today I am taking part in the Using Your Trash to Make a Treasure Challenge hosted by uh, Coffee with My Sunshine and Mom Does Life Handmade. Um, so here I found a shade and uh, plate set um, from Goodwill and I am going to give it a facelift. So here I'm just taking off the um, price tags and I was trying to show you um, that it does say Yankee Candle. There is a tag on the bottom or was a tag on the bottom, um, but I was able to get that off. And then I just take one of the cleaning wipes um, and I'm going to just wash everything down um, to get any of the dust and gunk off of it. And now I'm just taking um, my white Waverly chalk paint and I am going to uh, give this um, plate and shade uh, two, I think it was two, no, I think it was three actually, <laughs> um, coats. Um, I did try using just a sponge, but that wasn't working so well. I didn't want to have the brush marks, but um, in the end, the brush worked better for me. So I ended up sticking with the brush. And now I do end up taking my heat gun and um, I do uh, try to dry uh, each of the coats um, as I go along. I'm a little impatient and wanted um, to get all of the coats on. Um, it did take me a couple hours because I did end up waiting a little bit just to make sure everything was dry.
And then as you can see here, I did flip it over um, and uh, cover the bottom part of both the plate and the shade. Um, I do believe I only used two coats on that um, because nobody's really gonna see that part. Now I'm just taking some Waverly chalk paint in moss and I'm just using a paper towel and just kind of blotting it on um, to give it a little uh, color and a little texture. So I apologize that it's going out of frame here. Um, I went around the bottom of the shade um, with just the green, the moss, and I was going to leave it like that, um, and I kind of wish I had, um, but um, I ended up going over the whole thing. Um, so you'll have to let me know what you think. Should I have just left it at the bottom and top ring, or um, did I do the right thing by covering the entire shade? So then I take these beautiful rub-on transfers that I got from Teresa B DIY um, in one of her giveaways. I will link her um, her channel in the description box. Um, but I just cut out some of the pieces that I wanted to use for this project, um, and uh, then I just attach them to both the plate and the shade. So here you can see that I'm using all different uh, tools, quote unquote, to try to uh, get this transfer onto the plate. And then I think to myself, you have a Cricut. You could probably just use your Cricut tools. So eventually I do end up going and getting the spatula and the weeding tool to help me along with this process. <laughs> and of course I call it a spatula when it's actually a scraper, but you guys get it. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs>
And now that everything is transferred, um, here is the finished product. I think it came out so pretty. I love the transfers. Um, was not able to find them up here in New Hampshire. So I'm so happy that Teresa included that in the giveaway and that I won the giveaway. <laughs> um, so anyways, I want to thank um, Coffee With My Sunshine and Mom Does Life Handmade for allowing me to participate. If you haven't um, been to my channel, I would love it if you would come visit and subscribe and give us a big thumbs up and share us with your friends and i will see you next time bye